Welcome to this quick tip. We're going to talk about the KISS flight controller and specifically around the things in the graphical user interface on the computer called RC rate, rate and RC curve. Now these are a little bit confusing when you read them in your manual and in a later video we might spend a bit of time and go through and explain how all these work in detail. However, what I want to do is for those of you that are starting to play with the KISS flight controller is give you an idea of a cute little trick. Now the trick I want to show you is this little website here, ultraesc.de slash kissfc slash rates.html. And don't worry, I'll put that link in the description. And here we have a cute way that you can plug all of the numbers in, RC rate, rate and RC curve from the graphical user interface. And then also put in kind of a virtual stick position for the control elevator or aileron and get an idea of how aggressive that's going to make the flight controller in terms of how many flips per second. So for those of you that are really into your kind of acrobatics, flips and rolls with your quadcopter, this is a really cute way to play with the numbers and actually figure out what that's doing to the code and how that's going to change the, how the flight controller responds to you. So let me just go through these very quickly. Stick input at the top, it goes from minus 1000 to plus 1000. So that's your stick position. Zero is mid stick. So if it was halfway between the middle position of uh, the aileron maybe and halfway between there and full deflection you'd have 500 or it might be minus 500 if it was the other way and that would kind of explain how that works. These other three then are the numbers from the graphical user interface and here's the defaults 0.7 for RC rate, rate of 0.7 and RC curve of 0.4. Now if I set the stick position back to zero, which is the central position, there's no control input coming to the flight controller, you can see that RC rate, rate and RC curve together give us a maximum of 466 degrees per second rotation, which is about 1.3 flips a second, which for most people on the planet would be a nice little flip, maybe fraction slow. But what you would actually get for having your stick in the middle position, as you'd hope, would be that you would actually have no flips a second because it should be stable. So if, for example, we say, let's say we moved our stick uh, halfway between the middle position and its furthest deflection, then now we can see with these settings, that although the maximum number of flips is 1.3 flips a second, we'd be getting a very gentle 0.21 flips a second if we're flying in acro mode. That's probably not going to be enough if you want to flip it over. What about if we go to 1000, which is maximum stick deflection, that will then give us the maximum flip rate, which is the one that we have down here. Okay. So let's start playing with things and changing stuff. In a later video, I do want to spend a bit of time and try and explain what these do in more detail, but this is a really cute way for you to do what ifs and plug numbers in so you can get the kind of performance that you're after. Now, I would say that 1.3 flips a second is pretty slow. For those of you that like acrobatics, you're probably looking for something a little bit faster. So what we can do is we can increase these rates. So let me set, punch these really high up rate and RC rate, and you can see the curve is getting more and more extreme as we do it. We'll change the RC rate as well, and now the maximum we can get is five flips a second. If the stick is at halfway between its midpoint, which is zero, and the maximum deflection in either direction, either plus 1,000 or minus 1,000, then it's still getting, it, getting us 0 0.25 flips per second because halfway 500 that's zero there's plus a thousand there's minus a thousand halfway it's only a little bit of change which is why even though we can manage five flips per second if we go right the way across we're only getting 0.25 so we can play with things like the rc curve to try and even that off so flatten that out a little bit so now mid position we're getting nearly half a flip a second, which is still not great. In reality, you wouldn't want a lot of flipping going on in the middle of the stick range anyway. It's only as it gets to the more extreme positions where you want this very big change. So let's just put it out to say, uh, let's go for 900 of a thousand, which is 90% of the stick position. You can see that now we're getting a really nice, crisp, fast flip. 
of 2.19 flips per second. And again, you can just play with these numbers and goof around. Uh, that's maximum flip stick deflection. There we go. We, until it gets to something that you like. And then once you've got numbers that you like, you can plug these three back into your KISS flight controller and give it a go. It does take some of the guesswork out of it here. And hopefully by going through this quick demonstration, you now know two things. One, that this website exists. And two, it's quite a cute way for those of you that like the flipping and rolling around in the sky and the acrobatics. It's a cute way for you to check what these three numbers need to be to get the behavior that you want. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and happy flying.